on board your board. Let's get this over with. <laughs> well, look who's here. New recruits. Well, <laughs> let's fuck some shit up. Listen. I understand what you're saying. There's someone powerful, there's someone hungry. That pretty much sums up everyone we know. What are the odds that someone new is joining the fight? I wouldn't have come to you if I didn't think it was serious. This new player is strong. You said that hungry. Yes. Stop repeating yourself. Please. I'm getting pissed. I just want to eat. I just want to be alone right now. You really want to go back. But this is your home. At least this world is. Home is where the heart is. And I left mine with my wife and kid. I want them back. So, I'm sorry. But... I... What is it? Don't you feel that? Feel... Who... What? This intimidation... I... I only... Experienced it... No... That's impossible... What? What? What's impossible? Isuko. He's here. Wait, you mean your? Yes, my son is here. But that makes no sense. How would he? Never mind that. Let me out of here. I need to save him. I need to save every, everything. What? You don't get it. He has my appetite. So, so what? He's had to restrain himself since birth. I had to learn how to control it. Even then, I feared I would slip. What do you think he's going to do when he finds out where he is? In a world full of food he's never tried before. Where in some places even the grass itself is edible. Where you can eat the bones and not worry about getting injured. He is going to devour everything in his way. But, if he is what you said was strong, hungry, then you need me more than I... Please, just let me out. Uh, uh, see you, Please. Uh, right. As we cut to Izuku, him chowing down on some barbecue pigs. Him quickly learning, like, yeah, these things literally cook themselves. And you had to knock them out and or kill them before they burn. But every bite just makes it so much more enticing. Him thinking, am I dead? Is this heaven? 
No. So this was very good. I wonder what else could be here. As Zebra and Coco, they're pretty much scrambling to contact Toke. Yeah. As they say, everyone. And yeah, so we see that, uh, yeah, Zebra is not only out, but he is worried. They demand an explanation. Upon learning that, yeah, his son is here is pretty much like, well, that's great. They like, no, it's not. He's hungry. With my appetite and him having to restrain himself, the whole world is his plate. Oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so wait, what are we gonna uh, do? Do you want to? Capture him? Just, just, as long as I can see him. Huh? As long as he can see me, maybe he'll calm down. But, wait. Oh, God, that's right. What? He has gourmet cells. Really? Wow, congratulations. No, that's bad. That's worse. What? In the world he he was raised in, there were no ex nothing nearly as exquisite to really, you know, uh, stir the palate, or at least make it so the gourmet cells kept begging for more than usual food. Okay, so that means his gourmet cells. Haven't evolved at all. So every intake of more of this exquisite, as well as pretty much never seen before through his eyes, food he consumes, the more his gourmet cells are going to evolve rapidly, making him more more hungry, making it so he craves more, he hunts for more. Do you get what I'm saying? Not only will he get stronger, he will get hungrier. We cannot allow that to happen. You're serious. As a heart attack is to a foodie. <gasps> yeah, he is serious. Let's, let's find this kid. You know, I could, we could just send our kids after him. Huh? Zero, did you really forget about my daughter? Torco, I've, I've been more worried about seeing my wife and kid again. I've been depressed that I would never get to see them again, and now I get to see my son. I... I don't have much worries for your personal hang-ups. It, it's just my daughter. Yes, and my nephew. Stuff it, Sonny. I do not give two fucks. Let's find my kid. What? <sighs> you, you know what? <sighs> Zero. You could stand to learn some manners. <sighs> you dare use my wife's words against me. Huh? If he sucks Sonny into the ground. So he goes like, what the fuck, man? Wait, you just curse? You damn... I'm sorry, that's... That's not quite... That's not beautiful at all. It's just using such foul language. Look what you've done to me. What? I... I... 
Anyway, yeah, go go ahead and send out your brats to try to wrangle mine. But I doubt it's going to work. Because if I know him, he's going to be way too invested in all these new tastes. Wait. That's right, his mom's cook. He, if we're lucky, he'll take time to prepare it. He doesn't know anything about the ingredients here. So at the very least, he might mess up. He might be trying to experiment. Try this, try that. That can be our opening. Or at least that can buy us more time. If he taps into his more of a chef side. Rather than his blind hunger. Do you really think that would work? Trust me, I, I know how Ingo will raise him. Though, yes, he had to restrain himself. It's a sheer curiosity. The wanting to test out new things, try to make food taste so much better, more than you ever thought possible. Like, could you imagine how cavemen would have reacted if they discovered barbecue sauce before? He has a point. Yeah, 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 yeah no, no shit. So what you're saying is we pretty much got a bank on his, uh, well, massacre of countless species on uh, the fact that he's also a chef. Not just a blind, hungry monster. Yes. As, yes, we come back to Izuku, and yeah, Zebra was wired on the money. Izuku following his nose to the sweet smell. He just. Wow, so I. I, I think you'll go great with pork. Him pretty much looking around for more things to combine. Him following his nose, his ears, sense of taste. He heightens it to the best of his ability, trying to find the best ingredients to make that barbecue pork taste even better. If anything, he's like Remy from Damn Mad Tui. Mm. Yeah. But at the very least, they have time. <sighs> so, wait, Dad, you just want us to find our cousin? Yes. Uh, but that sounds so boring! Young lady, that, that's your... He's starving out there somewhere. Yeah, and the world is filled with food. He can just take his pick. <sighs> Do you remember the stories we told you about? How Zebra was. Oh, yes, yeah, so he was a brutish, rude-ass bastard who only cared about filling his stomach. So? Do you know what his crime was? Yes, overeating. He ate countless species into extinction. I, uh, wait, so what are you saying? Wait, you're saying that our cousin could do the same thing? He could do worse. No, that's nonsense. That's, that's ridiculous. If he, his gourmet cells have never evolved before, him partaking of fresh, new, ingredients that he could have never found on his world don't you think that's gonna pretty much you know oh oh dear yes so Kira if you wouldn't mind you take the others and yeah go try to save your cousin Fine, but I expect a reward for this. 
Saving the world is reward enough. No, you're going to take me out for barbecue. <gasps> On my salary? Yes. Uh, you know what? Actually, I got a better idea. Just take me to your little buddy's restaurant. Uh, he's my partner? Oh, really? I thought that was mom. Uh, you dare? I do. I, I really do. How did you become such a... Well, you're never really around when I want you to be, so I had to get your attention somehow. You used to be such a sweet little girl. Just go find your cousin. As yes, it takes two hours for them to find poor Izzy, and yes, they are drawn to the concoction he's created. Was was that? This is my dinner. Uh, I've been trying my best to restrain myself from just devouring the ingredients separately, but I do believe that this makes it far more worth it. Him reaching for it, his hand stops. He's like, "What is this?" Him just seeing the wait, are these strands of hair? Oh, that's gross. Him looking, who the hell are you? I am the daughter of Sunny. Good to know. Now, release me, woman. No, please. I'm so hungry. Yeah, but you restrained yourself enough so you wouldn't devour your masterpiece. I'm pretty sure you can wait until you know, later. I really don't want to. Well, I have you trapped, so there's no way him ripping and tearing through the follicles. Huh? You do not want this fight whatsoever. I am warning you. Let me eat. And then I'll go with you, maybe, depending on if you piss me off again. Akira, you can you, you, you can tr you can try your thing as fork shields just surround Izuku. Him, like, what the hell is? How did you? <laughs> Little Tandy, my dad taught me. Great for restraining idiots. Hmm. Well, here's something my dad taught me. Sounds bazooka as it. Blows through. It destroys his restraints. Him pretty much like, okay, who's next? Is that, oh shit! As he just dodges a uh, airstrike. Wait, how did? Where did that come from? Him seeing his. Wait, who are you? I. I'm a chef, like you. My friends have called me to aid them in this endeavor. And like a true friend, I answered that call. But I was also drawn to this area by your exquisite cooking. Uh, I thank you. Um, your father is ready to see you again. But wait, what? What? 
as a shadow just towers over Izuku. Him turning his head. This is like. Dad? 